Welcome to the Lights on Data Show, live here on location. So happy to be here with you, the VP of Watson X. I mean, I'm a little bit, uh, I think I'm getting uh, blushing here. <laughs> I, it's, it's quite an honor. It's going to be a great day, don't you think? <laughs> I, I'm really looking forward to it and lo Excellent. looking forward to your talk as well great. on digital labor. So I think we've all seen for the past few years how digital labor is really bringing that productivity, that efficiency within organizations. Can you tell us a little bit on how Watson X is really helping organizations get a little bit of that productivity and efficiency? Absolutely. So let me start by saying, you know, I think IBM has done a phenomenal job over the course of the past couple of years of really focusing our efforts of where we're making investments around AI. And the singular biggest focus that we've had is how we drive employee productivity, greater efficiencies, how we do that through intelligent workflows and digital labor across all types of business lines and different business units within an enterprise, right? So there's lots of different examples of how we do this today. And one thing that IBM has also done is, is we've said, hey, we've learned a lot as a mm -hmm. company for how we've done this within our own enterprise. Whether you look at the employee experience transformation that we've done, whether you look at how we're using AI and automation in functions like procurement within our customer care and customer support department, whether you look at how we're driving productivity for our developers through the use of a code assistant, right? We're doing this across our business, and so we're able now to go to enterprises and say, we can actually help you cross the chasm from experimentation into driving real productivity use cases within your business. We can help you uh, through how you operationalize that within your enterprise. So what we see a lot of today are employee productivity use cases around things like HR, okay? Mm -hmm. So you may have use cases around onboarding or talent management, talent acquisition. You may have something that's an AI assistant where this becomes your single point of contact for all of your employees to interact with your policies, with your business documentation, when they have a need co that comes up, when they need to do a transaction like changing their address or accessing their tax documents, right? Um, these are some common use cases. We also see a lot through customer care, another big domain that we're focused on. So how do you drive a greater amount of productivity through uh, the call center for mm -hmm. your agents that are serving your, your clients? How do you give them the information that they need when they need it? How do you maybe take away some of the mundane tasks like summarizing a call and putting that back into uh, the, the customer profile, right? Or your customer record system. Right. So these are just some very kind of brief areas, uh, brief examples I would say of where we're seeing Watson X help clients with productivity use cases today. Thank you so much. That's a lot of use cases already yeah, yeah. that I know companies can really benefit from. So you did mention that chasm and it's definitely not easy to go over the chasm. So it does help to have a company such as IBM that has already made the leap over and really learned from how it was able to overcome some of these challenges. So um, can you share a couple of those challenges that maybe organizations should be aware of? And again, IBM can help them go over those challenges. Yeah, absolutely. So I think with everything that we do from a generative AI perspective, it is about technology, but it's also about people and it's also about process. You know, one of the biggest things that I see in the market today is people doing vast amounts of experimentation, but sometimes they, they don't struggle with the amount of ideas or the amount of use cases that they have with their business. They really struggle with, okay, what is feasible and going to provide the highest amount of value right now, okay? Experimentation is only as great as the ROI that you're gonna return back to the business through mm -hmm. what you're experimenting and learning on. Absolutely nothing wrong with having a playground and doing lots of skill building and learning about new capabilities and technologies that are out there. But I think IBM has a very good programmatic way that we help clients through our Watson X pilot program, not only in the build and the design of many of these productivity uh, type solutions that we just spoke of, but just the initial interaction when we get started on one of those pilots is to say, let's just take a step back and let's talk about the value that you're planning to deliver with this solution. Let's talk about how feasible it is. Like, do you have the data that you need to, to do what you need to do with the solution that you're talking about? Is it good data? Is mm -hmm. it clean data, right? Do we have access to the domain experts, to the people that have the knowledge and skills that do these tasks internally already today? So we're thinking about some of those things rather than just jumping right in to the technology right. and kind of going forward and proliferating this experimentation that already exists. I think the other thing that we can do to help clients is just to be very realistic about our own experience. 
um, it wasn't always rosy for us, right, when we were deploying AI in places like HR. There was a lot of change management, a lot of process transformation that we went through. There was a lot of testing and adaptation that we had to do to say, are, are you kidding me? Are, are you know, 300,000 people from IBM actually gonna use an AI assistant as their mm -hmm. first line of defense for how they get help on such personal topics? So we learned a lot through what that transformation was like. And I think going and being very honest about how long it took us, some of the hurdles that we faced, some of the things that we did really well, and some of the things that we didn't do so well, and how we actually fed that back into our technology platforms and products so that we could provide something better to the clients that we serve. Those are all parts of, of what you're talking about here. Oh, that's amazing. Lots of words of wisdom. You've had me at we need to have clean data. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, that's a, a, an important part of the process, right? Like Definitely. I tell clients, you will never get out of, of this data curation mode. Mm -hmm. The volume, the velocity, the veracity of data that people are creating, it's growing faster than you can keep up. So mm -hmm. if you don't have a solid framework for how to do that in place, the AI, it's only gonna be as valuable as, as the data underneath the covers. Absolutely, absolutely. So. Well, thank you so much for being here with me today and putting the lights on digital labor, but also Absolutely. how companies can benefit from IBM and what's next to improve their productivity and efficiency. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you as well.